your first step in creating badges in Google Sheets is you're gonna need a list of what you want badges for. So you're gonna create some fun achievements, some challenges, and accomplishments that students can reach. Your first move, obviously, is to have a spreadsheet. So you can see here that I've created some badge titles and criteria, and I have room for the badge. So I'm going to need to get in between the column indicators and make the column wider. I am going to click on the awesome box up here in the upper left-hand corner, and I'm gonna use the toolbar to align in the middle and to set word wrap. So that's gonna allow me to have each of my quests. I'm again going to adjust the widths. Next, you're gonna to wanna to create your badges. So I'm gonna to go to a new tab and go to drawings.google.com. And in drawings.google.com, I'm gonna design my badge. I'm gonna go file, page setup. And under page setup, I wanna customize. I'm gonna make this five inches by five inches. You can choose any size you want so long as it's square. So now I have a square space. To make a badge, you're gonna need a circle. So I'm gonna to go to shapes and I have the ellipse circle tool. Now what's important here is to hold down the shift key when you draw so that it creates a perfectly round circle and I'm gonna center that right on the page. While the circle is selected, make sure that you can see the resizing handles. Come up to the toolbar and change the fill color to however you like it or use a gradient and then come over to the border weight and make it thicker. It's that real thick border that really makes it look like a badge. Once you have your circle, you're gonna to wanna to design your badge, add different elements. I'm gonna go ahead and drag my Bitmoji. And then this is the very important part. You need to go to the file menu, choose share, and publish to web. This is really important that you do it this way. Publish to web. Go ahead and click publish. And then you're gonna copy this publish link to put in the spreadsheet. Before you add the badge to the spreadsheet, you're gonna to need to be able to check off that the student has been awarded the badge. So I'm gonna insert a column to the left. I just right clicked here on the column or you can use the tiny triangle on the column and do insert one column to the left and I'm going to highlight the cells in the list and insert checkbox. Now if you increase the font size that will also increase and just for fun you can also change the color of the checkboxes. Now to have the badge appear when you check the checkbox you're going to need to use this formula. Start your cell with an equal sign, and if and if this checkbox, so click on the checkbox wherever it is, in this case it's A2, if it equals false, comma, do nothing. So long as it's unchecked, nothing's gonna happen. Otherwise, so put a comma, you want an image, parenthesis, quotation, that's very important, quotation and then you're going to paste the link to the Google drawing published to the web end the quotation end the parenthesis for the image and end the parenthesis for the if statement and push enter now it look like nothing has happened but when you check the checkbox you see that it does indeed show up so now when I check the checkbox, you'll see that the badge is really small. And that is because it is gonna match the size of the cell. So you wanna make the columns wider. So see how I get in between the column indicators and in between the row indicators so I can make it larger. You might wanna center the badge. And so when you check it off, it will appear and disappear.